What's up guys, it's Albert from Muffin Group and in this video I would like to show you how to create the product slider which is gonna be based on the query loop which I already shown you in the other tutorial so if you didn't have any chance to see it yet I will leave you the link down there in the description or you can find it just up there in the left top corner right so let's jump into my screen and let's create something awesome today okay so basically what I want to show you today how to create as the product slider you actually see on my screen where you have uh, the product image uh, at the first glance uh, behind it you have the category name in which the product is uh, below we have the product title the price and buy product button and also we have an arrows on sides of this slider so you can click on them and switch between the different products okay so let's get back to the wordpress dashboard and I will start from creating a new page I will just name it with maybe the product slider and let's publish it and now I can start building the product slider with the B builder There is one pretty important thing I just forgot to mention. So I will get back to the WordPress dashboard uh, because if you want to create a product slider, probably the most important thing you will need are the products. So uh, I already have such products. As you can see right now, I just got them in the products tab. Uh, I have some chairs, tables, uh, beds, etc. So uh, if you want to create the slider, uh, you need minimum two products so you can switch between them. And if we have those products, we can go back uh, to the B Builder and start creating our slider. Okay, let's start creating our slider. So the first thing I need is the section and the wrap inside the section. Now. Uh, I will need to add some spacing for the top, uh, maybe 70 pixels and 70 pixels for the bottom. All right, perfect. And let's set also the background color for our section, just like on the example I've presented you before. All right, so uh, this is the base I'm going to start from. Uh, now I can go back to the settings of this section and what I need right now is to change the type of that section from the default one to query loop so uh, we can start displaying our products all right so the products are under the posts query type and the post type we need our product all right later what we need are uh, we can choose the category which we would like to display the products from I just want to display all products uh, the display I will leave the default one but as you can see you can switch between the default on sale best selling and top rated products uh, order by date is fine uh, order ascending and we can also set the limit. I will set this option to free, but basically this option means uh, how many products from uh, the list of all our products we would like to see on the slider. So if you will set just like I did right now free, I will just get free first products. We can also have the offset option, uh, which I'm not going to use right now, but what this option means uh, how many products you would like to skip so if for example you have on the list of your products uh, some products that you don't want to display on the slider and for example these are two first products you can type two and both products will be skipped so the slider will display the products from third 
uh, to the end. Seems like I forgot to remove the offset and also I forgot to change the post type from post to product. Okay, it's fine now. So we can uh, move to start uh, adding the element. So the first element is gonna be the heading. It's basically the product category you see behind the chair, arm chairs in this case. And yes, you don't see the title because it's uh, probably the same color as the background. So what I'm going to do right now is to change its color in the style tab. Perfect. And right now we have the list of those headings and not the slider because we didn't make uh, one important change. Uh, we have to go back to the section where we've been setting uh, the type to query loop and in the style tab container, we have to change from uh, the default display to slider. Great, now we can see just one heading and we actually don't see any arrows on sides because we didn't set them yet. And this is something I'm going to set right now. Uh, so let's say uh, we wanted just one product in the middle. Okay, so uh, I will leave just one column. Uh, infinite loop uh, means uh, that if you will scroll to the last product, it will just loop and go back to the first product. Uh, so I will turn it to on. Uh, I don't want to use the autoplay speed. Uh, I would like to show the arrows, which I actually don't see right now because I didn't style them yet. Just like in heading case. So let's go to the arrows tab. And the first thing I want to change is the arrows color. Let's make them white so they are visible on this purple background. Okay, the other thing we can do right now is uh, set some styles for our arrows for the slider. So I would like uh, the weave uh, to be, just give me a second, I will check in my note as I already had some uh, predefined styles for these arrows. So the weave, I would like to be 65 pixels. Uh, the same will be high and 20 pixels for the size. Looks much better now. Okay, the other thing I need is also the border. I would like to have the solid border and let's make it two pixels. Uh, let's change the border radius to 50% because I would like it to be circle and not the square. And the other option I need to set is the border color. Uh, yes, let's leave it white. And that's basically the same one we had on the example. So, so far it looks exactly the way I wanted it to look. Let's focus on our product then, because so far we just put the heading, uh, which just had the fixed text and nothing except that. So uh, as I would like to display the product category, as I shown you in this example, um, I need to use the dynamic data. So let's remove the fixed text from the title click on that dynamic data and let's select the product categories tag. So you can see the tag, uh, the dynamic data tag uh, has appeared on the left side in the sidebar, but on the right and main window where we're creating our slider, it has been replaced with the name of the first product category. All right, uh, I will use the title tag to be H2. Uh, what else I need as uh, that's fine. Uh, okay, uh, from the content tab, I don't need anything else. Let's check the style tab if we need anything else to be changed. Yes, the text align, I would like to be centered. And also, I would like to style a bit a typography for this heading. Mm, 
Okay, let's set the size to AM and I would like it to be 10. Okay, uh, the line high, I would like to set in AM also and 1.2 will be fine. Uh, font wave 700 and let me check if I need anything else. No, I think that that's just fine for now. Uh, so we have our product category. Uh, the next thing we need is the image. Let me find this image on the list and let's put it under the heading. All right, so similar to the product category, we need to adjust some settings for the product uh, image. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, replace this default image with the product category image. So for that, I'm going to click on that dynamic data icon uh, in the image field and let's set the product image, the featured image. The next, I would like it to be uh, half size of uh, the wrap. And what else I need to set right now, because I would like this image to be centered so I have to go back to the wrap where the image is and in the advanced positioning tab I need to set this center option for elements horizontal align. That looks much better now. All right, so uh, the next thing I need to do is uh, put this heading with a product category just behind the chair. So what I need to do is go back to the settings of that heading and in the advanced uh, positioning tab, yes, uh, I have to change the position to absolute and let's maybe set, I don't know, 10% for the top position absolute or maybe even 20 will be better. Yes, that looks really uh, much better now and it's a bit closer to the desired uh, layout. Just three things left, the product title, the price and the buy product button. So let's move on and finish our slider. Okay, so what I need to add right now is the new heading for our product title. And as I don't need, uh, sorry, I don't see the product title right now again, because I need to set the color. So let's get, uh, switch to the style tab and set the color to white. Perfect. And let's align this heading to center as well. And just like all the elements above. Okay. Uh, let's get back to the content and remove our uh, default fixed text for the title. Let's click on the dynamic data and let's set uh, the product title. Great. So uh, we have our product title ready, just accept one thing uh, because I wanted it to be the H3 tag. All right, that's fine right now. And we can move on to add the price and the price will be added as plain text. All right, and we don't see it as well because we didn't set the color. So let's get back again and let's set the white color. Let's make it centered, get back to the content. Let's remove our content and let's set the price. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to achieve. Uh, we can check right now. Yes, it looks pretty close. Uh, seems like uh, I need to uh, decrease the spacing between the product title and the price. And seems like to do this, I have to decrease uh, the spacing, probably the padding or margin for the heading with product title. So uh, let's get back to the advanced tab of the heading. 
let's go to the spacing tab and yes that's it that's exactly what i was looking for okay so what left is just the button so let's add it uh, okay and again it's not visible as most things i've been just working on the slider on so uh to change the color button uh, i will have uh, to go to the button content tab and I will change the style to highlight it and I will explain you why uh, the button has changed its color. It's because if you will get back to the WordPress and you will basically go back to the B theme theme options tab in the global buttons section, you will see that I already prepared some uh, buttons like default and highlighted. So uh, I can use these buttons across the whole site and not to style each of them in, in place. Of course, if you want, you can style uh, the buttons with built-in options. Like if you will go to the style tab and the button, you see that you can set things like the, the color, the background color, typography, etc. But because I don't want to lose the time on styling the buttons, uh, I just did it once in theme options and I'm just using these buttons right now across the whole site. So it looks exactly the way I wanted it to look. And the other thing I need right now is to center this button just like the whole rest. And what else I need is to change the title. If I remember the title was, yes, by product. Okay, so let's type by product for the link. Uh, we want the link to the product uh, to be uh, just the link to exact product you see on the slider. So I'm going to choose the permalink from the dynamic data uh, pop-up. And what else I need? I think that's it. I think that's basically everything. Just let me check it. Okay, it seems like I need to decrease the spacing between the price and the button again. So I will have to go to the price, advanced spacing tab. And yes, I have to change to probably something about 25 pixels. And yes, it looks pretty much the same. So. This is basically what I wanted to show you in this tutorial and I will go to update this slider and we'll go to the page. Uh, you will see the slider that we've actually created. Uh, and if we will click on the arrows left or right, we may switch between the slides. Hope you enjoyed this video and I learned you something new. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.